Hi, I'm Baby Balls. My bosses think I'm a nerd, so they like to send me to live with different people to figure out what they're all about. Anyways, this is that. It's called Balls Deep. How's everybody doing? Hi, I'm Thomas Morton from BBS, and we're going to go meet up with uh, Matt Ruskin, who's a mixed martial arts fighter. He's training for a big cage match down in Georgia. We're going to follow him through his routine, see if I can keep up, try not to get my ass kicked, and then go enjoy a fight. Mixed martial arts, or MMA, is the official name of what's usually called ultimate fighting. There's a small set of rules to keep anyone from getting killed, like you can't gouge eyes out or attack their groin. But otherwise, it's just two guys in shorts wailing on each other until one is knocked out or gives up. It's basically the closest sports come to an actual street brawl. MMA has grown into one of the most popular new sports in America. Matt's a relative newcomer to the sport. He's got a few matches under his belt, but is still struggling to make a name for himself. We're here in Midtown Manhattan at the Gracie Academy, and we're going to go meet up with uh, Matt. Do we need to take off our shoes? Or? Yeah. <laughs> kind of wish I didn't wear my fucking like. Candyland <laughs> fucking socks. You're gonna train, dude. You're what? I'm gonna train. Like, those yeah. are the prettiest socks on a man yeah. I've ever seen. I don't think I want to train with you with those cute little socks. <laughs> I, I might just want to snuggle up on the mat with you and hold you real tight. <laughs> cute little thing, you. <laughs> Come on, let's go change it up. Drive your stuff. In the pro leagues like the UFC and IFL, the winnings can get up to hundreds of thousands of dollars. But where Matt's out right now, all his time and money go into his training. If he wins this fight, he stands to pocket a whopping 300 bucks. I weigh in four weeks from uh, today, fight night's four weeks from tomorrow. And I have until right before I step in that cage to be 171. The weight class system is like institutionalized cheating. It's supposed to prevent unfair matches, but what happens is the bigger dudes just starve themselves down to the lowest class they can, then put all the weight back on the day of the fight. Right now we're at, uh, right below 187, so we got about 16 pounds to go. How often do you do the jujitsu versus everything else? I try to even everything out about two, two, three days a week for boxing, two to three days a week jujitsu. MMA is, is a mixture of, of games. If you're a, a submission grappler, then obviously you're your goal is to get the fight to the floor as quick as possible. Or if you're more of a striker, you know, you wanna, you wanna keep the fight standing up. I'm more ground and pound, you know, my submissions aren't that great, but if I get you on the ground and hold a position and just start blasting. It's a good technique, yeah. it's like, the, like traditional school fight technique. Mm -hmm. The position that Julio is in on the bottom is called the guard. He's still in kind of a neutral position. Matt on the top is trying to get past his legs, so he gets more of a dominant position. If you feel pain or if you feel like you're gonna uh, pass out and uh -huh. choke, you just do that. Well, that means you kind of give us like saying uncle. Yeah. We'll just go from here. We'll just oh. roll, try to make each other say uncle. <laughs> There's no idea what I'm doing. If you feel pain, just tap. Uh, okay. Despite looking like two dudes humping on a mat, jiu-jitsu is really mentally involved. You have to remain fully aware of what each of your limbs and each of your opponent's limbs are doing at all times, while planning what they're all going to be doing five moves down the road. Sure. You all right? No. It's not about like having like holds or anything like in like wrestling or whatever. It's like, oh, there are about like pain. Sure. Boom, Literally, around. the idea is that it will destroy the joint. Mm -hmm. Right here, it's oh, pressure on the joint. Oh. If you don't give up, I'm gonna probably pop the capsule in your elbow. Do all MMA fights end with a knockout? Knockout, submission, uh, verbal submission, just a tap out. Yeah, okay. The, the referee can stop it. In case somebody's getting too much punishment, they can, the referee can step in and, and end the fight. If you get a cut over the eye and blood's pouring in your face, you can't see, um, you're, gonna, you're gonna stop it. Another way to win is by a decision. Let's say it goes three rounds, and it goes to the judges, and they score a, score a decision. It's still fine, honey. Mean, he could be ready in four weeks, I think. Thank you. Let's wait till we go next week. Thanks for. Uh, no problem, my sure. man. No problem. <laughs> is he crazy? <laughs> What's wrong with him? He's not submitting. Nah, it's not working. Man, I've got shoes bigger than you. You better get the fuck off me, man. Right now we are on St. Mark's Boulevard in Staten Island, and we're heading back to my house. Gonna drop my stuff off, and then 
start running. It's like a locker room. It serves the purpose. We got a nice little mantle. Vitamins, laundry, vitamins, Jack Daniels, supplements. Gamma O. It's a uh, testosterone booster. It heals your body a lot quicker so we can keep the intensity of the workouts up. You know, without that stuff or without any kind of supplements, you have to take obviously like days off to recover from a really, really intense workout. This is the best invention ever for somebody that's trying to diet and cut weight. Eating is the biggest part of the training. This is what it makes. Oh, sweet. You're basically on the South Beach diet for a month while spending all your energy working out every day. It makes you constantly pissed off, which is good for the fight, but not so awesome for hanging out with buds or trying to keep a girlfriend. When I'm not cutting weight, I mean, I'll, I'll eat a lot more, obviously, than this. Well, what do you normally do on like a night like this? You just come back and... A night like this, I'll come back. I'll um, usually cook Tuesdays and Thursdays, do, do some sprints. Usually every night before I go to bed, I just use around the phone with my girlfriend for a few hours. And I just tell her about the day and everything. And that's about it. You know, wake up, do it all again tomorrow. Yeah, he's gonna come run with me. <laughs> In fact, I'm about to give him a goo energy gel. Yeah, you gotta take that. Banana blitz. Fumeric acid. Oh my, will you stop? <laughs> Cheers. Here we go. Cheer oh, just take it all down. It's like frosting. <laughs> about to get ramped up and go fucking sprinting. I don't have to go do this in a rubber rubber suit like the one you're wearing. No, this is just good to get used to running in this, getting getting a good sweat going. Ready? Yep. All right, we're just going. All right, the race goes. Do you do the running punches ever? Or is that a, no? That's just for showboaters. What we're going for now is recovery time. What we're looking for is the time it takes to go from sprinting 100 yards to jogging when you're <laughs> to back to, back to normal breathing patterns. That's your recovery time. Once that time drops, like, you can recover in, like, maybe 10 seconds, 5 seconds, then you're in shape. All right. Fuck. Ah, uh, he's long gone. So it's going to go up. This is just the first week. Yeah, by uh, next week when you're two, and if you can do four or five in a round sprints, you're in good shape. Fight him, man. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're down in Dumbo, down by the Brooklyn Bridge at Gleason's gym. We're gonna go to uh, Matt Ruskin's boxing training. It's been uh, a few days since I did the, the sprints with Matt. I've been trying to just keep up some sort of health regimen versus my usual lying on the couch at night. This place is kind of an old, old school, traditional boxing gym. Matt described it to me as a uh, prison yard up there, so I was careful not to wear like rainbow colored socks. Hey, Matt, how are you? Thomas, this is Mike. Hey, hey Mike. Mike. Hi. Hello. You see the bell? Huh? You see the bell up there? Yeah. It's like the red light, green light, the yellow light. Red light means rush, green light means go. Ah, fuck. Don't jump way up in the air, just un look, yeah. allow enough room for the road to move under your feet. There we go. Hey, you look too bad. Ooh. Dom, anybody in the gym, I got an open challenge to anybody in the I'm gym. On it right now. This guy right here, Monaco, right anybody, open challenge. Yeah, I've been training Matt for a while for stand up, for stand up portion, as a boxing portion. Mm -hmm. You know, try to tighten up his hands, because MMA, you have to know. Uh, a little bit of everything now. I got good at jiu-jitsu, good wrestler, decent boxer. That's what makes the sport so interesting and uh, hard, because you got to know a little bit of everything. Slow, slow, slow. One, two, Mike's going to be the guy in Matt's corner for this match. He'll be the one mopping up his sweat and blood between rounds and whispering strategies into his ear. Like, fuck him up good and hit him in the face. Boxing's a really good time. I liked it a lot more than jiu-jitsu. It felt like real fighting rather than some sort of weird body chess. I suppose that makes me more of a striker than a floor man. All the pounding and grunting and sweat totally cranks up your testosterone. I was starting to get pumped up to kick some ass, which I guess is how Matt must feel all the time. The weight, the weight is slowly coming off. Yeah. So what'd you, uh, what are you at? 
Right now we're about 184. Is that good or are you on track? We're on track. Exhausted. What have you got queued up? Is this you? This is the video from, from the last fight. I mean, you were walking into a cage and they're going to lock the door and it's going to be you and some other guy trying to kill each other for the next potentially 12 minutes. And didn't really know what to expect of this kid. He came out pretty aggressive. I was like, fuck it, take him down where I feel comfortable. He was he was clamped on there pretty good. And this is where I raise up. Want that. Boom, oh! Boom. Three clean shots landed at the face. I think one of those knocked his tooth loose. Oh. Some more hard shots. <laughs> there, we get the, there we get the tap and over. That was a good win. Best feeling in the world. MMA emerged in the US in the early 90s. Originally, the idea was to pair up different schools of fighting to see which was the best, like who'd win between a boxer and a karate guy. Over time, as folks figured out what moves did and didn't work, a uniform fighting style developed. Since the early days, MMA has been plagued by controversy over its supposed brutality. Fighting's been around for ever. People like to watch a fight. It, it appeals to, to our, our human instincts. A fight could break out in a basketball game, a fight could break out in hockey. Any sport, you know, when you got guys competing, there's a potential for a fight. We just cut through the, the games and just get down to the fight. Dana White, the president of the UFC, brought up a great point. What's more brutal than the NFL? 300 pound guys colliding into each other, you know, breaking bones all the time. You know, the whole point of boxing is you're trying to knock somebody out. The whole point of mixed martial arts is you're trying to beat them in a fight, however your style is. You can get knocked out in boxing, get up, get knocked out again, get up, get knocked out again. Mixed martial arts, if you get clipped, in my second fight, I got clipped. I was dazed. I mean, I, I don't think I was out for more than a few seconds, but they stopped it. Yeah. So I wouldn't take any more unnecessary punishment. But there's always someone out there better than you. Little Iraq pictures. Fucking weapons cache we found one day. RPGs, RPKs, AKs, all that shit. My first boxing match ever. That guy's bicep is like bigger than like both my legs. Yeah, he was a big motherfucker. Ping. <laughs> Did you get in your own legs? Yeah, or? I got in my own legs, but we, we fought to a, to a draw. Oh, I can only imagine this in the fucking desert. <laughs> fucking microwave is what it is. Yeah. And you just gotta, you gotta mix everybody in this sport. And you sit down with, with a bunch of guys after one of these events and you, know, you really get their stories. These are all, you know, working guys. One guy may be a plumber. One guy, hey, I'm a, I'm a cop, you know, you know, I work as a personal trainer. You look at, at, at boxing years ago, like high level pro boxers used to have a second job. I train people during the day. I'm either training for a fight or training people. I really don't have any spare time. <laughs> the one thing I kept hearing was how pure MMA is versus other sports. All the guys seem really sincere, like they're in it for the love of fighting instead of just trying to make a living. I'm sure as it gets bigger and more money comes in, it'll start attracting the douchebags, but right now it feels like it's sort of in its golden age. So we're on our way to go to a thing called conditioning. He told me it's going to make him puke, so I'm just assuming that it's going to make me really fucking puke. He stopped off right now to check in and try to buy some sports drink he likes. A bunch of good stuff for recovery, rest, and all that. Body enhancing chemicals. So, you can tell I'm really not feeling this tonight. I'm exhausted. See. Oh, man, you ain't ever seen tired before you've seen this. We're gonna do the fighting matrix, where we do the 15 pound dumbbells, the crosses, the straight punches, and then the down punches. Baby uppercuts, wider uppercuts, and turning uppercuts. I'm already completely lost. Then we're we'll gonna go to explosives. One, two, detox, one, two. Then kettlebells, come up, snap your hips up. All these moves are jujitsu based. Hammer throws, straddled, right hand dominant, Boom, control. Can you add a few more elements? This is a 10 pound weighted vest. Oh, great. Matt does this course twice a week at a local high school. Jeez. <laughs> it's basically a Looney Tunes workout. Russian twist. Over, under. He kind of reminded me of like 
Al Brooks's really enthusiastic sports cousin. Blast, blast him, boom, boom, boom. Okay, I totally zoned out when he was about halfway through those 30 or 40 different steps. So I'll just follow what Matt does. Grab your balls and let's get going. <laughs> Uh, Matt, man, he kept up with us since the first day he came. You know, usually the, first, the guys that come from the first time die. Yeah. And he was right next to me all the way. The real workout consists of running up and down eight flights of stairs while carrying a 10 pound weight, then jumping on a treadmill at full speed and sprinting for 20 seconds, then doing a whole suite of weightlifting and these weird rope pull ups. And then you do the whole thing two more times. It's easily the most exercise I've ever done in my life. I feel like I'm in an altered state right now. I feel like I'm peeking on shrooms. My body feels totally alien to me. Oh good, not sparking. I feel bad that I didn't, but it's okay. I feel bad enough. I'll see you uh, next week. Have a good weekend. Take care, man. Rest. Uh, later. I kind of cut corners. Um, it was slightly painful, but everybody was everybody was nice about it. I can I can feel I can feel in my muscles at the moment that within four or five hours I'm going to be sore than I ever have. And uh, right now I'm just going to go get some. Uh, some fucking Cytomax and, uh, and see if I can chill before the uh, pain sets in.